I'm here with my friends and we want to talk about their life and what they what brought them to Rubens. What's going on? My name is Jonathan and this is my wife Ale and we're here because our daughter was diagnosed with leukemia. And so we we, we were already kind of into health and into our, you know, well-being, but we kind of slacked and her diagnosis was a huge wake-up call for us. So, uh, once we uh, heard about you, like we started hearing about you, your powders and everything like that, we came in, took a look, started doing research of our own, finding out what works, what doesn't, the most natural form of whatever we could find. And hands down, this is the best results wise that we've had since we started using your powders. Um, her, I mean, she's cancer free. She's a survivor now and we're blessed that we're able to say that. And that's due no, in no small portion to you. Thank you. And Thank I just, I mean, I'm very thankful for you. You know, we brag about you all the time. Thank I mean, you so no much. matter where we are, if we can bring you up, we tell people, go to Rubens, yeah. see who will go, and you will not be disappointed. You'll walk out there with something because it's worth it. Yes. Thank you so much. Well, so um, talk, talk about leukemia, the, the experience. Uh, what what have you found out uh, or how, how, how bad was her leukemia and what was going on? How old is she? Uh, she's six right now. Six years old or, or with seven. She, she was seven. diagnosed when she was gonna be five. Yes. When she was gonna be five? Yes. Yeah, she was four. She was turning five when she got diagnosed, and she was she was diagnosed with the acute lymphoblastic leukemia, which is not the worst leukemia. It's it has a very high survival chances. Yes. Good. But what really uh, what we noticed was, of course, the chemo okay. is what really. Okay. You know, her, we how saw it, how it took a toll on her, her body and stuff like transformed that. Transformed her, like she started to look different, feel different, act different. Her mindset was not the same. She wasn't as energetic. She wasn't as confident. She just wasn't herself at all. Since we started taking the powders. Um, well, let's, let's, let's hold back for a second. Okay. Let's hold back for a second. So how long was she on leukemia before? The, the good food or whatever you try to do in this way. How long was she on chemo with this uh, study to transform her in a bad way stuff? Um, when she got diagnosed, it was probably beginning of 2022. That's when we started really noticing. And we were, in, we were not here in the Valley, we were in Corpus, so we did not have access to any of this product. We were not fully aware of the items that you carry and stuff like that. So how long did she go on chemo? Without your nutrients, probably about a year. A year? A year. Yeah. So a, a year. year of just her declining, declining as far as her personality, her men like her cognition and just who she is. Um, she had a seizure. She had a seizure. Um, she also went into septic shock and barely made it through septic shock. I mean, the doctor said that she was one of the sickest kids in the entire hospital. She was barely clinging to life. They had to put her into a medically induced coma to save her life. And even then she was just, you know? Yeah. And um, so that, her surviving that made us really start like paying close attention to what we give her because previous to that we were giving her salmon, Alaskan sockeye salmon. We know that there's no antibiotics because they can't raise those farm styles. So we know for sure it comes straight from nature like that. And um, with turmeric on top and all these, you know, roots and uh, ginger and things like that. Right before she went into septic, she had that as a meal. And then we went for a walk and exercise. And that's when, it, you know, the symptoms set in. She started getting high. She started throwing up. But I, I think because we were giving her a healthy meal be and we were walking before she then, it. she made it. Yeah. So yeah. the healthier lifestyle we were starting to adopt saved her from dying then and, yeah. and made us wake up and say, we need to really pay More. attention. Yes. Until More of this into, stuff. Yeah. Then who, what, what, what happened to bring you over to Rubens? That we are going to do, but they didn't want to leave the house, so we left her with. No, like we just saying, he's asking why did we come here to Rubens yeah. to? Oh. You know what? What made us come here? Um, I, I, I started following your page on Facebook also, and I, I see that you're always posting the triple organic. Yes. Is one of the no things that. No pesticides. Yes. No additives. No antibiotics and all that. That's what was like, hey, this is what we need to look into. So you saw that over there and you decided to take a little trip this way? Yeah. And when you walked in, uh, you were looking around mm -hmm. and I was giving somebody some explanation, I yeah. suppose. Yeah. Yes. Well, tell us about that. 
I remember you were here and you were watching your videos and you were telling them about, oh, it was your energy that drew me in, your how confidence. confident you were about what you were talking about, how you were basically saying like, look, the way you're living is wrong and I'm gonna tell you why I'm right. Yeah. And it, it's, now that we've experienced it and we know that this, yeah. now we hear you and we're like, oh God, these people, I hope they're listening. Yeah. I hope yeah. they take this serious because yeah. what he's saying is so true. Okay, so you came in, you started listening, and the energy was good mm -hmm. and what you were talking about was everything we were looking for you know talking about how this is going to detox you detox. It's gonna, yes it's going to like make you feel more alive and awake and i saw that video the guy you the gentleman you were showing right now how he in the in the beginning he looked more like just kind of like lifeless yes. and then he came back in full of life damn near dancing and you know just full <laughs> of energy and i'm like that right there because i didn't feel that anymore mm -hmm. in myself you know mm -hmm. her diagnosis i got real depressed um, started drinking real heavy. It was I was a mess because I couldn't. I get it. I couldn't handle I get it. I get it. But then I quit all of it for her, especially after septic. I said, you know what? The way I I need to That's clean it. myself. Up. Yes. Yeah. So I quit everything cold turkey. It was one of the hardest things I had to go to, but it, through it, but it was worth it because how I feel now. I feel better now at 32 than I did when I was 19. Yeah. Way better. We'll, now. we'll get to that. Don't spoil. Don't spoil the rest. Don't spoil the rest. Don't, but. That said, when you started giving her the superfoods, mm -hmm. what happened? I saw a dramatic change in her mood, first and foremost. For, compared to how she was to what she was starting to become, she was more energetic. Yes? Uh, how she, long? Oh, man. Maybe like, a week? Long, it took less than that, yeah. honestly. Less than a week. We exercised a lot, so that also helps. We would, we would walk with I her. I, I wish I would have that motivation. I want, I'm envious of your workout. It's not me, but... It could be someday. It could be. Maybe yeah. You're, you're, okay. Now, less than a week. You mean you're exercising with the little girl? Yeah, we yeah. walked. We, we've done upwards of 12 miles. You know, with them, we'll do five or so. It yeah. depends on their mood. Okay, so now, in, in less than a week. Yeah, in we, less than a week. We would walk while she was on chemo before even your powders. Yeah, she walks. wouldn't want to do it. She'd be more like, Lazy. oh, tired. Yeah. You'd have to have like a little wagon, a, a wagon to put her in. But after your powder, she was motivated to walk more. She was out there climbing the walls, jumping around with her brother. And I mean, the dramatic difference in I just love it. In a, less than a week. Yeah. And then we started incorporating fasting where we would just eat maybe once a day and then we'll fast for a day. Well, I, don't, we started I don't, I don't uh, uh, promote fasting. fasting. No way. I don't promote fasting mm -hmm. because I, I feel they're amazing, but it's not my job. And I don't do them myself, so I just stay out of it. I but when people start talking about fasting, people look into this because it's another thing that you can do that is actually not doing anything, not eating anything. It's also yeah. like, it's kind of cool to know that there's stuff out there that I wouldn't promote because I don't do it because I'm not going to talk about something that I don't do. Right. But I will say they've got a good secret going on. Look into it more, uh, and it's a great thing. It Go really ahead. is. Intermittent fasting, uh, the longest we've done, what, 115 hours? 118, which 118 was four hours. and a half days. Four and a half days, no food, just water. And, and exercise. It, and, and the powder. The powder yeah. mix, just every okay. single day, because every it doesn't, morning. Because it doesn't break fast. Your powder you does know, not break fast. We all. looked up the, everything. Awesome. Yeah, it does not break fast with water. You take it, cool. a little bit of monk yeah. fruit. The powders, exercising, and fasting changed our life completely. Yes, so she's exercising more, she's eating better, mm -hmm. and she's just overall happier. Her okay, and then now, uh, let's say a month goes by. Mm -hmm. Now you have to go back to the doctor or something. When, how long before she started to, you went back for another chemo round or something like that? Oh, uh, she was on chemo every single day. Every single day? Every yes. single day. You mean, there's a young lady, six years old, now seven. How old is she? Uh, okay, let's just say six. And she's on chemo every day, every single day, with the smoothie every day. And you also mentioned to me something about that they up the 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 chemo because she was doing so she good. She was doing too well to the point because their goal is to destroy the body or bring the numbers down so that way the leukemia has no chance of regrowth. Right. So if her numbers don't reach a certain level, they increase the chemo to force the numbers down. Oh. But the we'd give her the powder every single day, so her numbers weren't dropping. Where they wanted them to so they increased the chemo and even at 125 percent chemo it still were not and to the point that her fingers started blistering and her cracking hands, yes. her lips her started lips. bleeding 
the, to the point they had to stop it because of the danger. Yeah. Not because it wasn't of the because numbers. it was effective. The numbers were still high uh -huh. despite, but it was just too much for her body, and she was already at the back end. So they said, you know what, we're gonna stop chemo. And, and they and now we were done. No chemo free. No okay. Free. Now, do you have a picture of her? We're at the beach. We're at the pool. We're at the pool. This is her after chemo.